I'm Zandra Ui, speaker, author and coach on happiness and together with me today is Jade Lee and Rosalie Lin. They are co-founders of the Artisans Haven, a one-of-its-kind digital mall here in Malaysia that supports and promotes local artisans. I've been looking forward to speaking with the both of you. Mm -hmm. Jade, I have to tell you how much I admire you, your oh, thank vision. You. Thank you. And when you have an idea and you believe in something, you just go ahead and you execute it. Oh, you, you don't think about the problems. I think you think about the possibility. Mm. I want to ask the both of you, like how did the Artisans Haven come about? Like you were both in the banking industry mm. and this sounds so different from what you used to do. It started when I retired last year. Some of my old friends got together in a little workshop and they were artisans and they wanted to get online. But many of them, have not had exposure. And for the two of us, uh, we come from a banking background. Mm. We have been doing uh, e-commerce, uh, digital marketing, most of our career. So at least I said, since I was retired, that mm. I would set it up and I engaged Rosalie, can you please help me? <laughs> and the uh, two of us got together. Correct. So we put together something very cost-effective, something very simple, and invited all our friends to participate. This is not a for-profit organization. No. You guys are basically doing it pro bono, pro bono. Right? Yeah. from the goodness of your hearts. Correct. And you are so genuine in supporting mm. local artists. Mm -hmm. Where does this desire to help come from? Mm. I think especially after the COVID-19, we realised mm. there's a lot of support required. Yep. And I saw a lot of people setting up uh, Facebooks, you know, helping each other. And suddenly you realise Malaysians, we are all very united. We help each other. And I think the artist in Malaysia is also not much appreciated by many. Yeah, they don't really have a lot of uh, avenues to share out, to talk about their dreams, to talk about their goals. So, and like what Jade mentioned, we've been in the business. I mean, I'm in the banking industry and I also have my own company uh, for 15 years. So, we have all the channels, the contacts, mm -hmm. which I think for the artists, it will be a little bit difficult for them to reach. Uh. Mm -hmm. So, we are helping them to reach out to those people. I think it's wonderful mm. because a lot of the times mm. when you produce something locally, mm. Malaysians actually like to buy exported or Correct. imported stuff, let's say. You know, mm. We like exports, la, so Correct. we like you know, to buy imports. <laughs> so when it comes to our own mm. products, our own creations, it's not as celebrated. Yep. Correct. And what you have done is to give that platform to mm. let Malaysian local artisans shine. Mm. And I have to, I mean, like meeting so many of them, mm. uh, the products are amazing. Yeah. The Correct. quality, Correct. it's really of high international standard. Yeah. And it's a lot of passion in Correct. it. It's not just a product, it's that as you meet each one of them, they put their passion and their interest into the product. Mm. Right? So that needs to be shared with people so that they know Correct. what's behind yeah. the product. Just like what you mentioned, Sandra, most of the customers like to buy imported product because they perceive it as better quality. I think it's also lack of education and also awareness about our local mm. artists, you know, how the things are made, mm. the story behind I the mean. products mm. that they are doing. So I think that is what we are trying to do. We just want to share this passion, share the story. story behind every single product, give them a chance. So then everybody will be able to understand that, hey, you no, know, our local product is not really that bad. In fact, it's better. Yeah, and you pour your heart and soul to something not really easy, you know. It's not everybody can be uh, as creative as all those people that you just interviewed. <laughs> yes, today. Yeah. I definitely cannot do cannot a lot do. of what yes, you're doing. Yes, yes, very yeah, creative. So it is remarkable. Mm. And when you think of artisans, right, you're not just thinking of like entrepreneurs or mm. people who Correct. create art. You're mm. thinking of just passionate people with a story to tell. How would you define an artisan? So artisans are, of course, the artistic people. But as a, a philosopher once defined artisans, it's a temperament. Mm. It's how you apply to business, how you apply to even making a deal or even in producing a specific line or curating a line. But it's an artistic value and you rightly pointed out it's about the passion that they pour into it. So for us, we are not just looking at artists, we're looking at artisans, people who create. How has the journey so far been for your personal lives when you meet the artisans and mm. when we're doing happy grams like this, mm. how does it make you feel? Okay, mm. to be honest, uh, it makes me shop a little bit more. 
okay? <laughs> Definitely have support, ma. Yes. Purchase a lot more items, but at the same time, it's more fulfilling because most of the time, people always ask me, "What do you do, Rosalie?" And before I can even answer that, most of my friends will answer on my behalf. Rosalie got a dream job. Her job is shopping. So in a way, they are correct because I meet different people every day. I look at different products every day and understand how it's being marketed. So I think it's been very fulfilling. Mm. Never a dull day. Today you meet this guy who does frame. Tomorrow is candle. The next day is jewelry. You know, it's been really, really fun for me. Yeah. And the other thing, Zandria, is that coming from the banking background and in the corporate and business, we also have built up a, a pretty big network of mm. friends in the corporates. And the corporates are actually very happy to support right. artisans and local people. But it's pretty hard for them to support one candle maker, mm. one frame maker. So what we did was we put everybody together, interested and passionate artisans into one group. And when we presented to the corporates, I think 10 out of 10 corporates have verbally, actually some have signed Same. up to support the artisans. In terms of marketing and publicity Correct. and association. Yes. And promoting it as a whole, as a group. Right? So that's mm. good. We leverage on what we have built up over the years and help people who need that connection. So the Artisan's Haven is not so much like, oh, an online shop. Mm -hmm. It really is a showcase yeah. of Malaysian talent where it's all under one roof, where it's so much easier to talk about, Correct. to promote, Correct. to help each other, to support each mm -hmm. other. And you know, without it, there's so many brands and people I, I wouldn't even have known. Yeah. And yeah. you guys are doing the homework and the research and yeah. putting everybody together. Yeah. Basically, we're just creating a platform for them to share their passion to the people, which I think in the past it has been very difficult. Even the artists themselves, I think they are busy being creative. <laughs> yes. They have no time to think about You know, oh, like Taylor, no time to sew their own clothes. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So right. Yeah. Yes, so yes. right. Put it correctly. And that's why we are also very happy to send happy grams. Yeah. Right. Mm. Because in their journey, they need a little happiness sent, you know, as a as a gift to all of them. Yeah. So happy grams are very interesting, and you can see everyone. I think you have sent happy grams to quite a few of our yes. artisans, mm. and they're very happy. Their products are, are highlighted, shone upon, and that's what artisans live for. Recognition. Mm, recognition, correct. Yeah. correct. And, and appreciation, and just and people yes. using the products yes. and loving yeah. it. Yes. Correct. Well, it doesn't ask almost everybody. I, I really want to know, mm. right? What is happiness to you, mm. Jane? I think we'll quote almost everybody, but it's really a celebration. It's really when you make other people happy, when you are able to make other people happy, not by buying gifts or, or mm. by, by being not truthful, etc. down there, but genuinely being able to help someone and within my capabilities because uh, if something I can do and that helps someone, oh, that's great. It's a great mm. feeling. And happy. you're definitely doing that Thank all you. the time. So you must be happy every day. Very. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Rosalie? For me, I think everything that I do from creating a program, even getting a contract signed by a client, it's, it's a challenge, but it's a satisfaction. You feel so satisfied knowing that the values that you've created is being appreciated by your clients, by your peers, you know, that makes me very, very happy. And what about on a day-to-day -day basis? You know, what are the simple things that you find um, really important? That's very easy for me. I think it's a family, mm. dog included. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have many pets too. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. you know, these are yeah. like pet lovers. Yeah, correct. Mm. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so um, much for having it's me. It's been such a privilege mm. and my pleasure mm. to be able to send these happy grams. We thank you. We thank, we thank you. you. And I hope that you guys watching this too will feel inspired by the stories that you've heard. Hear the story, see the passion, mm -hmm. and shop at the Artisan's Haven. Yes, yes. Thank that, you. Is that right? Yes, yeah. Yeah. correct. This is a showcase, a digital mall of Malaysia's best local talents. So you can head over to the website to check it out. In the meantime, I hope that you too will be inspired to create anything in your life that brings more joy and more happiness. Till the next time, from all of us, be happy always. Bye! Bye.